Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. So we are looking at the Cosmic Woman Tarot. Um, when I first discovered that there were indie tarot deck websites, I lost my shit. And I started scrolling through all of them and seeing all of these fantastical uh, tarot decks and I was like, oh my god, I want this one and I want that one, I want this one, I want that one. But this is at the time the one that I settled with not settled but this is the one that drew, that you know pulled me in the most and it was the cosmic woman tarot and I was like I'm a cosmic woman I want the cosmic woman tarot this is I want to say my first women-centered women empowerment type of tarot deck and you know we're living in a time where people are trying to smash the patriarchy and all of this good stuff which of course I am not opposed of. Um, so there are a lot of decks out there that are women centered. Well, there are non men centered, excuse me. And this was definitely my first of many. Um, and plus, I like blue and white. Shout out to my sorors, Zvi. Um, so let's just get right into it. Now, I will fully admit. I was a little thrown off when I got this. This was wrapped perfectly. It had never been opened. However, when I pulled out this deck, it was like this. So when I pulled out the deck, I was like, bro, where's the guidebook? All I saw was this. So I emailed them and, and was like, hey, I think you guys forgot to put the guidebook in my deck. What's happening? I did not touch the deck until I heard back from them. And they was like, well, ma'am, the guidebook is in the deck. We didn't forget, um, but it's not a standard guidebook. And I was like, uh, okay. So I'm going through, I'm going through, and I find this. This is the guidebook. And I was like, oh, okay. Now, mind you, I'm still somewhat new on my tarot journey at the time. So I was like, um, I don't know if this is going to work for me. Now, at, I did, when I, when I got my very first deck, I did purchase a huge tarot book to assist me with whatever deck I got. So I was like, okay, well, since I have that book, I'll keep this deck because obviously I'm going to get more from my actual guidebook than this pamphlet. And when I say pamphlet, I mean pamphlet. This is it. There's nothing on the back. This is the whole guidebook. So for my newbies, yes, you can get a extremely basic few word explanation of each card however if you want a more comprehensive understanding of tarot with your deck this is not the deck for you for my intermediate to advanced those of you who have a base knowledge of tarot this is a great travel deck this is a deck that if you need to run out real quick, but you're like me who you don't really go too many places without a deck, this is a good deck. Um, tarot parties, different things like that, whatever. Uh, so this threw me completely. While I can, at the time, since I was still kind of new, I could still give a reading um, intuitively. And yes, I can pull from, let's say, the Empress, fertility, love, creativity. I can pull and get a complete message from those three words. Great. But you guys know me. I like my guidebooks a little more in depth than this even though I have been doing tarot for years now and even though I have a base comprehension of tarot I like my guidebooks more meatier than this so if you're like me this might get on your nerves but again you have a base level of understanding of tarot so it's fine moving on from the pamphlet the cards themselves 
they are not the most durable because as you can see i've been doing side shuffling it has its wear and tear they haven't bent from my bridge shuffling but definitely side shuffling is not a thing if you guys are familiar with the light sears tarot you're getting the same type of card stock so it has its wear and tear i can't even remember how much i spent on this deck i'm gonna have to look up the link to purchase these and it'll be in the description but they are standard tarot like a playing si a playing card size um and they are minimal there's a minimalist vibe to it you're not gonna get a full elaborate scene on every card so let's just go ahead and get into it every card has the same color scheme so I guess you can say there's no diversity in that um, because all of the women look like this. Take that as you will. So let's just go through the major arcana. Again, minimal, but every single card has, it's, it's a woman. So you have the magician as a woman. You're gonna have the emperor as a woman. All of your kings are gonna be women. Well, non-men, excuse me. I do love the high priestess. I guess there is diversity when you look at the hair. So, you know, but I do love the high priestess in this deck. Empress. So, you know, you're going to take it as you will. When it comes to this particular deck, uh, the things you're going to draw from it, this is going to be more intuitive than anything um, because you don't really have a lot of imagery leading you one way or the other when it comes to what these cards mean. Not everybody will resonate with this particular deck because it's, like I said, it's, I don't want to call it basic because there are people who are going to use this deck and see so much in it. But there's not a lot to go off of. Um, so it's not going to resonate with everybody and, you know, everybody may not like the nakedness of the cards, right? But let me know how you guys feel about this deck in the comments. Um, <laughs> is this something that you feel like you would want to use or not? Um, let me know how you feel about the guidebook as well, because that completely threw me. But there is... I use this deck for general energy. Um, I never really used this deck too much for other people. This was definitely a more personal deck. Um, I used this deck a lot when I wanted a softer touch. I didn't really want anything too abrasive for my reading. Sometimes I'm, I welcome the edge snatch, but sometimes I'm like, all right, y'all spirit, I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now. Let me just, let me get a soft message. And this is definitely a deck for that. Again, I'm not recommending this for all skill levels unless you're a beginner who wants to get a guidebook in addition to this. But let me know how you guys feel. So here are your pentacles. Your wands. I love the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is one of my favorite cards in the made, minor arcana, excuse me. You have your swords. Like even when you look at the Ten of Swords, it's very, it's a soft Ten of Swords. It's not a lot of jarring imagery when it comes to the Ten of Swords, which we all know the Ten of Swords can be a pretty gruesome card sometimes. And then we go into your cups. So very soft energy, um, not a whole lot when it comes to the imagery, but you know, you can get your messages how you get your messages from them. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you're new here. Um, and if you'd like your own personal video reading, you can go to CocoKittenBruja.com and book there. Um, if you like the items you see li uh, behind you, oh, behind the deck, that is, you can go to prisonbyckb.com. Um, again, let me know how you feel in the comments. I love all of the comments you guys drop. Um, 
I try to answer as many as I can. I don't answer them every single time they hit. I definitely comment in lump sums because you guys flood my comments and I absolutely love it. Um, so let me know how you feel. Um, I'm sending you guys tons and tons of love and light each and every time I do these videos. And until next time, peace.